My name is Mike from Dispenser Amenities. I'm here today with a short video tutorial on how to add simple art to our pre-made icon label templates. You can see in front of you an example of our icon dispenser in satin silver chrome finish. It's a proprietary design, the first of its kind, to offer a waterproof chamber on the front of the unit which allows you to easily print and swap out custom artwork into the front of the unit to display hotel branding, liquid contents, or anything else you'd like to show. To begin selecting your design, you're going to want to visit our website here at www.dispenser-amenities.com. Once you're there, you can navigate to the icon tab by hovering over products and then selecting icon. Click on the tab and that brings you to the page. You can there see all the different size options the icons featured in, as well as the different finishes available. Today we're talking about customization, so you're gonna to wanna to click on the customization tab. You'll, you'll know you're there when you see the video of yours truly explaining how to insert the labels once you've printed them. But the printing artwork, you're gonna to wanna to scroll a little bit down further so you can see all of our pre-made designs. If you're looking to build something from scratch, you're going to want to call Heather. She's our customization specialist who will walk you through the complete process. You, the number is available on the bottom of our website under the head office. The phone number is 519-685-1501 or toll free 1-800-639-4756. Make sure to ask for Heather. If you're looking to do something simple and easy by yourself, you're in the right place. For the tutorial today, I've selected the Aqua Blocks design. It's available for download in full bleed or trim to fit. Just simply check with your printer which one you would want to take advantage of. If you're looking for the exact measurements, they're available up here on the EPS file or full bleed file, which has the measurement layout for you. To download, just click on the download option. What you don't do is click right click and then go save as do not do that it's not going to save right you want to go up here to the download option click download and then save it to your computer from there I'm prepared my tutorial today using Photoshop Creative Cloud it's available for about 20 to 30 dollars per month it's a subscription service so you can just get it for one month and then cancel if this is the only project you need it for so go ahead and open the Photoshop application and then select your files using File, Open, Browse Your Computer. Locate both the label file artwork you want to use as well as the logo for your hotel or whatever art you want to add to it. So once you have those two open, you'll see they'll open in two separate windows like this. You just grab a hold of one of them with the left click and separate it so you can see them both at the same time. Then using the move tool here, just grab a hold of the logo, grab it onto the artwork so that you have both the images you're working with on the same window. Then you can go ahead, close the logo, you're not going to need that anymore. So over here, just use the move tool to sort of line it up, get it in. I'm going to be adding it to this shampoo label here. So I'm lining it up to be generally in the right place. Then using the edit button, I'm going to click that, go down to transform, and then from there select scale. This is going to allow me to change the size of the object. You can grab it from any part and drag it to resize it. But you can see here the problem is, is that the proportions will not be preserved unless you hold shift. If you hold shift, now you can see the proportions are preserved and your logo integrity remains intact. So I've dragged it to approximately the right size I want it. I'll go ahead and hit the check mark to confirm that. Then I'm just going to use my arrow cursors to just sort of position it exactly where I want. I'm just going to eyeball it center. The, those of you who are super picky, you can play around with the ruler up here, set some guides and get it exactly if you want. But for me, I know that I'm going to be able to eyeball it within about one pixel or probably even dead on so I'm just gonna use these guidelines here these guidelines are to keep the art contained within them you do not want to put a artwork outside of the guidelines or it's not going to print right so I've got this centered here in what looks to me to be the exact right position 
So I'm happy with the way that looks. If, uh, if you want to play around with different layer styles, you can go and add effects to it. Um, just different things you can do, for example, bevel and emboss. You know, you can play around with the way it looks, different, different sort of effects on it if you wanted. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, so I'm not going to worry about the effects. You can see them right here. This is the layers tab available up here in the window or on the side layers you can just hit f7 and the effects you can see i'm just going to cancel those right there no need no need to have any effects on it for this i like the way it looks just as it is so to copy that and apply it to the conditioner and body wash sections i'm going to use Control j this is copy layer so i press it and now i have an exact copy of this layer it's sitting right over top of the old one I can grab it and Photoshop's nice enough to just give me these nice guidelines here that allow me to line it up just just perfect within a quick click there zoom in make sure I'm gonna nudge it over the you know the vertical alignment is going to be exact because it, it snaps into place so you only worry about the horizontal alignment just use your cursor keys and make sure you get it right in the right place there now control J one more time make a second copy and position that one over here on the last page line it up that looks just exactly right and now we have it here's a completed product ready to send to your printer just go ahead and save that out um, ask your printer what kind of file they want the PSD is probably the most accurate file but some people like PDF or JPEG it depends on your printer so I'd like to thank you for joining me today and hopefully you'll be enjoying these icon dispensers at your property. Thank you very much and have a great day.